So, when Assassin's Creed Origins originally got launched with a trailer at E3, everyone was getting hyped about the snake, but in a trailer called Tales of the Tomb, well, this is different, and you will actually see the very significant difference, because this guy has put the snake to shame. Just watch the trailer real quickly, guys, and um, I'll come back to you, and you'll instantly notice who we're talking about. What's going on here? We're trying to get this assassin guy to slide down the side of the pyramid. So he's drunk? Nope. Just topped up on vengeance. He's gonna wreck his sandals. We are so screwed. Where are we gonna hide this giant body? Oh, I got an idea. Okay, what if we build a humongous pyramid over the course of, I don't know, like a couple centuries or something. It's something so outrageously huge that we got entire generations that are just dying out just from stacking up bricks, right? And then, best part, we stick our friend here underneath it. Brian, you're a genius! This concludes our Nile River tour. Thanks for choosing Mr. Goat's glass bottom boats. Please exit the craft in an orderly Whoa! fashion. Whoa! There's a guy finding a crocodile into the water! Look at all that freaking blood! Okay, let me get this straight. There's an assassin on the loose with an arsenal of deadly weapons. You know, maces, swords, flaming arrows, weapons. And the only thing you can sell me is a staff. Full of candy. Yeah, guy, uh, I don't know. Uh, aim for his diabetes. What kind of arms dealer are you, Dennis? I heard there's an assassin in the kingdom with a savage pet eagle. Why are you telling me this? I just thought- Oh, because I have a bird head, we must all know each other? That's ignorant, Karen. Real ignorant. Wow, what a day for a river cruise. I know. Nothing could ruin this perfect afternoon. Not the room service guy spilling the wine. Not the fact that there's a six-year-old at the helm. Not even the massive flaming boat fight he's steering us into. Ah, <sighs> not even that. that assassin shoot five arrows from his bow like it was a shotgun? What's a shotgun? It's a weapon from the future. You remember the aliens, those little green ones that helped us build the pyramids? Yeah, they told me about it. Hey, did you hear about the crocodile god that got killed by the human assassin? Ha! <laughs> no! How's that one go? Oh, it's not a joke. There's a human killing the gods. Yeah, we're probably all gonna die. Well, that's fucking grim. Oh, I get it! <laughs> right? <sighs> Crocodiles. Say, bro, you got anything on the fight at the arena tonight? Wait, you didn't hear? One of the gladiators tested positive for mummy dust. Oh, let him fight. What death duel hasn't involved a little zoom from the tomb? A little nip from the crypt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A few pheromones. Yeah. A little help from the undead to beat the spread, you know what I mean? Yeah, I get it. Hey, Kyle, wake up, man. What? That assassin guy, he wants to kill me. You're a god. What'd you do to him? I was talking to his wife, and my lipstick was out. Uh... So as you see throughout this entire trailer, they go on about the game mechanics within the game, but as it seems to be with the ending of it, is that Anubis somehow pisses off Bayek in some way because it's something to do with his wife, but I'm guessing that bit's all a joke, but it's something to do with the gods, so Bayek seems to be slain on the gods and must be working as well. It seems to be in that way that the Anubis fight is going to be like a hallucinogenic because unless it isn't hallucinogenic, I can see it being a fair technology thing because 
Well, firstly, technology can do that. Probably back in ancient Egypt times, they're much stronger and people know what they're doing with them because they've probably got their memories are more like frequent to the first Civ memories if they have got the same bloodline. So we could see a sage in this. I don't know if we could see a sage, but I'm guessing we can. If it, there's going to be a giant almost Nubis, I'm guessing this Anubis character will be a sage himself, or it will be just something. One of the theories is. That is that it's gonna be a sink in the animus fucking was or maybe it's just a mirage within like the sand so like Bayek stranded in the desert or something like that. And maybe he ha he's just hallucinating about these gods. Well, he's just fighting, 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 trying to survive and probably the ma master of the ancients are messing with his head, maybe he gets captured by them. I don't know. It's just a thing. I really want to go over this little topic real quickly because it's a very popular topic going around right now about the ginormous Anubis. As you can see from those screenshots I just showed you, it is pretty cool and the trailer is pretty cool. I want to see how the boss fight plans out. It totally shits on the snake because the snake looks like it was just, <laughs> it's only a little thing. The Anubis thing looks like it's terrifying and it's going to be very difficult to beat. So anyway guys, leave your comments down below what you think of this and tell me what you think of the Anubis boss fight. If it is going to be a boss fight or it's just going to be like a cinematic or a cutscene. And as always guys, until next time, leave a like, subscribe and I'll see you very very soon. Goodbye!